our new head coach of the Seahawks, Mike McDaniel. Uh -huh. Pretty much with the Cowboys, man. They wanted me back. They wanted me back on the same deal I had previously, and it just didn't really make sense for me to, to take that, especially when I had interest from other teams. Just a little maintenance on the body. Trying to keep it fresh. I know next week coach is going to kill me, so. Just trying to bounce back, recovery, and uh, you know, get ready for next week. April kind of just flew by, like so fast. The draft, I think I watched it all the way until we get made our pick. Very interesting. Never been that many offensive players been drafted in the first round since. Probably, I don't want to mess it up, but maybe about 40 years ago or something like that. It was five defensive guys that went in the first round, which is rare. Um, Obviously, we got a uh, big Murphy, another dog inside, so definitely is gonna, you know, add some beef inside. High motor guy. So this is a magnetolith. This one does more like electromagnetic wave therapy. So it's gonna go into his tissues and kind of help with any parts that are inflamed. It's gonna help with the blood flow of that area move it around a little bit. In certain areas, it'll actually twitch, kind of like electrical stimulation. Hank's got a lot of tissue, <laughs> so he may not feel it as much as someone else who had a little less tissue, but even if he's not feeling any treatment, it's just getting in there and helping clear out any inflammation. Have you felt anything yet, Hank? Slightly. Slightly? Yeah. I think he's just an overall dog, so it's gonna be nice when I get back out there to uh, you know, see him, meet him, and you know, get back with the guys. But um, defense looking real nice, man. D line is definitely stacked. It's two years in a row, you had a D tackle drafted in the first round. What do you, what are your thoughts on that? How does that make you feel? All right, I enjoy it. I like it. You know, what I mean, especially when you get like good guys, good talents and dudes. You know, it's a blessing. You know, it's, it's a team sport. It ain't just an individual game. But um, you know, I welcome the competition. I welcome. You know, to try to teach the guy, try to speed him up, you know, to get him out there playing well, playing as best as he can. So uh, it was definitely a good pick for the defense and the team. I ain't one of those dudes that be hating because they drive guys. Man, in the NFL, this is all competition. So if you're scared if they drive for somebody in your position, you, you, you shouldn't be on the team or you shouldn't even be playing. So, oh man, the Kirk Cousin. And I actually like the pick. Not the, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan of Kirk Cousin, but. The guy that they took, I guess it was maybe best available, or you never know what these teams got playing, but um, definitely think he was one of the top five best quarterbacks. So I'm not mad about it. I'm sure Kurt ain't gonna be mad about it. It's a business, so you just gotta go out there and compete. And uh, we'll just see where it goes from there, but um, very interesting. Did the team tell you that they were gonna take a deep tackle? No, we was, <laughs> a couple of days ago, we, they joked about it, like, we ain't gonna drive nobody, cause we got big hang. And they were just joking around, wasn't nothing serious. But um, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't sure that they was gonna drive for D tackle, just cause I felt like we had good depth. But um, you know, a guy that was there at that pick, it was a no brainer. So um, I was pretty excited for him. I've been watching him these past two years at Texas with a big sweat. So he's definitely a dog. He's definitely somebody that's gonna help improve this defense. And um, I can't wait to get back out there. Yeah, hang on, little Mazze. They brought him in to try to, you know, help him out, speed him up. Um, I think he's gonna transition well now that I'm gone. Now he's the guy, so I'm expecting him to be the guy and make plays. Um, for uh, Murphy, you know, it's the same thing, man. You come in, play, do what you can, learn as much as you can, and, um, you know, have fun and enjoy it. So, uh, at the end of the day, we all love this game, but the main thing is having fun and be able to play with your brothers. treatment, you know, a little needle, you know, try to get that fire in when they get in the muscle. Like, so say if it's tight, they usually like get a little jumpy, but to really increase like the blood flow. I don't really know too much what they do. I just fucking love it. <laughs> uh, just a little pinch. If, they, if they're like really good, you really don't feel it half the time, but it is not too painful. 
I hate, I do hate needles though, but I like the feeling of it. And then I got this real life therapy on my back. Oh, I'm winning in life right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. That's like, good. Like there's a heartbeat in your Yeah. It's like I'm shooting real bull into my legs and <laughs> hamstring. Kind of depends on what you're doing it for. Mm -hmm. um, if you come in with like a really locked up muscle, it can help release it. You put the needle right in the knot. If it's just a little bit more generalized recovery day, we're just trying to get some healthy stimulation to the tissue. And then when we do it under red light, you'll also get improved blood flow as well. So I would say we're getting a little bit of gold for Hank. So average day for me is wake up, work out, 7.30, depending on if we go football field first or weight room. So normally it's like an hour and a half, hour and a half both sessions. And then after that, usually go get treatment after that, then go home, rest for a little bit, have some food, then go pick up my daughter, bring her back home, you know, have some family time. And then normally I just play the game, but now I'm streaming playing the game. so. You know, check out the channel, man. It's a newcomer to the streaming world, but slowly for surely getting it going. Yeah, this is like my average day, normal day. Wednesdays are lighter, more of a recovery day. And then hit it hard Thursday, Friday, and Saturdays. You know, just try to move around, not necessarily just slouch all weekend. So training is probably about 11,000 a month, maybe. Like treatment, I probably say about $3,000 a month. Like the membership, lifetime EOS. Well, lifetime is, is a hefty ticket, but I rarely go there. But it's nice to have EOS. Um, not too bad. Pay no more than like a hundred dollars, or maybe less than that. It ain't really the, about the place. It's about having the right people. You know, the staff here at Project Wellbeing is the best in Las Vegas, maybe the best in the West Coast, and then. You know, just training with Coach Rowe, Big Dog. It's one of the reasons why I've been playing these last six or seven years, because I've been training with him. It's funny, each year I'd be like contemplating, like, ah, I might just, you know, I might say this, might not go no more as it is. And then, you know, we started our off season training, and, you know, for some reason, he, he, he kind of get me back reset or we back refocus. You know, we sit down and we talking, like, you know, if we want to continue to do this. You know, we gotta figure out different things to do, different ways to train. Can't train the same way every year, so he do a good job of pushing me and figuring out things I need to do to try to improve because you can't stay the same in this league because if you do, you you get kicked out or, you know, it just won't be no use for you. It's really about the people that I got that support me and that's helping me get where I need to be plus my family, so it's a grind. Oh, new head coach of the Seahawks, Mike McDaniel. Uh -huh. Great dude, man. I'm excited to have him, man. He's been he's been on a lot of winning teams. Amazing defensive coordinator. So for him to be, you know, the head coach is definitely something new to him. I'm sure he's gonna um, learn a lot as we go, but he's still gonna have some, um, you know, a lot of input to what the defense is doing, the way we're doing it scheme-wise. The cherry on top of me is, you know, my D-line coach from, you know, the Cowboys are, is our, now our DC, DC, well, he's a DC now in Seattle, so. It's good to, you know, be in a new city, you know, new teammates, but also have, you know, a coach that's, you know, I've been with for the last two years, so I'd be able to grasp it a little bit faster compared to a whole totally restart. So um, that was one of my decisions why I chose to, you know, play another year and, you know, it's about being good people and being good to people. But pretty much with the Cowboys, man, they wanted me back. They wanted me back on the same deal I had previously and it just didn't really make sense for me to, to take that, especially when I had interest from other teams. I felt that I deserve a little bit more than what I got paid last year, but you know, they had other plans and other dudes that they wanted to sign and bring in. And also them bringing in a new staff, defensive staff kind of made a slight impact for them probably to not bring me back. I don't know what goes on in the front office up there. Cause you know, from my perspective, if you're gonna offer me the same thing you offered me the previous year, why would I take that? Especially when, you know, I've been playing pretty well for them the last two years, doing everything they asked. It just didn't make sense, but I understand they got my young boy Mozzie there. So, you know, they putting all the reins on him for him to take over and dominate. So can't be mad, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just excited that teams are still calling me, you know, 12 years in. So that's a blessing in itself. So.